decided to play a three minute game on chess.com in a few days at least since we recorded a blitz game and we're playing somebody from the Philippines always tough and tricky opponents so I'll play it solid and close to the vest with the English opening close Sicilian reversed so the basic plan here is rook b1 he doesn't go for uh, a5 And immediate retarita. Re um, actually, gonna switch it up a little bit here and play this kind of structure. Just not to always be playing the same thing. And then he played g5. Maybe b5. I want knight c4. And he can't play d5 just yet because this hangs. And should I? I could play bishop a3 here as well. d5 attack on f8. Looks like a good option. My, I was thinking also about knight e3 to d5. Trying to control that. No, maybe knight d5. I mean. My pieces look. Quite okay here. How to continue? I'll go queen d2 just to cover a5. Maybe I want to play knight a5. Probe a little bit. Put this one over here. And let's just go with this. Playing quite fast, I need to catch up. They tend to play rather fast, these guys, so. Mm. And I'm not sure what I want to do actually. Maybe b6. Oh, that was a nice tactic. Tricky guys, like I said. Oh, I missed that one. I missed that one. Do I have something, some kind of in between move? Don't see it, so I have to go for this. Uh, just queen f6, yeah, it looks good for him. I'm gonna need to come back here. I need to come back here. Okay, let's not get too. Let's not feel sorry for ourselves. Did get a pawn as well, so my pawn structure isn't the greatest, but just cutting the material, it, it's equal. But he definitely surprised me there. Um, I'll start with this rook c8. So I have 94 ideas. Okay, it goes queen f7. It's probably a good move. Let's go 94. We're hitting this. And a2 is vulnerable. Oh, he's hitting the rook. Uh, let's attack this pawn. Could play d5, play knight c5. Getting one pawn back. That's, that's good. One more pawn. Well, he got a2, so yeah. <laughs> it's a, uh, even a steal. Go back here. Put some pressure on e5 and maybe try to swing the queen over. Queen f5, he wants some knight f4 type move. Um, blimey. Okay, this is ugly, but I'm, I'm going to play it. Oh, it's very ugly, man. Very ugly. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay, coming in here. Oh, it's checkmate. Oof. I was lucky. Got really lucky there. <laughs> yeah, I totally missed this F3 move. Totally missed this move. 
Yeah, it seems like it's like a style that you can like almost put in a whole nation. The guys from the Philippines are gonna be they're gonna play fast. You know, some might say superficial, but also very tricky at times. So I think more or less everything is normal. He decided not to go with a five. And usually I'm playing b5 here, knight d2. But I decided to play a different structure just to. I think it's important not always to play the same thing, just to try to train yourself to get different positions, different problems. Okay, knight d2. So he didn't really get his attack going as fast as I thought he would. G6. So I do have the d5 square for now, which is good. Bishop a3. And 98. Does, did I miss something here? I mean, I like my position, but. Okay, we shouldn't look at, at the engine here. It's only depth 12, so not really relevant. I went with knight d5, bishop came to e6, and here I struggled a little bit to find the way forward. And he's coming in with f4. If I was already with a pawn on e3, maybe f4 would be nice for me. Well, this idea was probably a little bit sloppy. And maybe. Some kind of b6 is, is a better idea. Because I'm not I'm not really threatening anything, so I'm not sure what what I was doing here. My first instinct here was to play bishop e4, but uh, I'm always skeptical about exchanging this bishop and he might be able if a bishop e4 he obviously trade perhaps. And I'm not sure what's going on. I think I'm doing fine here, but but it's hard to find the plan to to progress. I went with knight c4, and then I got hit with this tactic that I completely missed. Nice move by my opponent. And yeah, from there we had to struggle. It's very, very promising for black now. But we were able to generate some counterplay here. Get a work active. And I'm wondering where it all went wrong for him. Well, actually, it kind of didn't <laughs> until he blundered mate, you know. So. I'm close to okay here. He found a nice plan with, with his knight of four move, probably. But then again, maybe I can just take it and play queen f1. But at the queen c2, it seems like a decent idea. Well, I was struggling to find a move here. Can I take it and run, really? Or just play queen, uh, queen f1. Oh, it's a nice tactic. I missed that. Bishop takes e5. That's really cool. Can't take because d5, uh, d4 check. The queen can't interpose, so the queen is lost. And if it goes for a mate now, uh, I'm first, so. Yeah, rook d7 is nice, blocking the queen from the c8 square, and then queen c8. Okay. Instead, I played this ugly looking g4, and I think knight h4 would have been. Tempting, but he went to h5, and then he completely missed the mate threat, very fortunately. And checkmate ends the game immediately. So yeah, <laughs> fortunate escape. Let's let's try another one. Mm -hmm.